What's up, guys? Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes news for August 18th, 2022. So we have the event preview, and we also have something very different coming in the Soul Awakening session. Now, I'm trying to get more information on this because it is a big question mark right now. I'm going to try to get as much clarity as possible so we can understand this Soul Awakening session because there will be leaderboards. There will be minimum number of points you want to save up. So again, if this becomes a returning event, it might be something free-to-play players want to try to save their soul awakening summons with their contract starry gems even more because yes we have the soul awakening gala coming back there's a chance for pay to win artifacts spiritual lessons all that fun stuff so hopefully you guys enjoy this one make sure you guys hit that subscribe one let's jump into this week's events <laughs> Starting off, your daily login rewards are going to be those four imps adventure dice and 100. Uh, what actually are they this week? I imagine they're like pie, but blueberry cheesecake. Oh, okay. That makes sense. It's a sweet week this week. So we do have imps adventure. We are continuing to have some of the uh, campaign event currency coming in the form of loops, which again, I think isn't the worst thing in the world. I think that's kind of a cool idea. It seems like people are getting better rewards with this. Uh, getting to 200, of course, is the main goal. So make sure you have 4,500 gems saved up just in case you need every single dice. If you're like me, you'll probably miss it anyway. We do have shelter mission, which is a very important one because, of course, you need the dice. Now, Anki Rimaru, Tenant. Fiona, Tenant. Rogan, Tenant, and just a solid hero. Ignis, solid hero, amazing for doing Abyss Sealand. Uh, Aspen, Asmodel, definitely don't touch these at all. I mean, you can. You, this is like three weeks in a row. We've or two weeks in a row. We've had Aspen and Asmodel as rewards. Last or this week, which is last week technically at this point, uh, we had them in the Soulstone shop in the altar. Which, I mean, they're they're there already. They just gave us more options. So, uh, yeah, they're pushing Aspen and Asmodelons. Don't get these two, but get all the other ones. These are going to be very good heroes. Even just nine star. Uh, Ignis is a great, great hero copy to have for your account. Rogan as well. The other two, mainly, mainly just tenants for, like, Sword Flash Shia. That's, that's the big thing. We do have the rewards. It's the Out Idler's Sweet House. This is where you're going to cash in your rewards. And it looks like this shop has become pretty static so if you do need star spawn cores it seems like this is going to be one of the easiest ways to acquire them moving forward uh you can still save up for the pay to win chest which is probably the best idea although it does take like i feel like it takes like a year to save up enough universal crystal shards for you to play to get a pay to win artifact but when you do it feels good again i just i feel like maybe going for star spawn cores might be the better play nowadays instead of artifacts because as you guys have seen in the past like what two months artifacts are being giving out a ton more and at lower tiers of rewards because we now have core of origins that are the new premium the the whale bait basically uh so that's kind of good for the people free to play who are still trying to make good progression uh the more artifacts you get the easier that's going to be the more uh cores you get the easier it's going to be they're more willing i think to give these out like willy-nilly just tossing star spun cores out now because like all the whales already have them maxed out, so the whales don't care about them anymore. Uh, everybody else does, so uh, make sure you do that. Otherwise, you grab the 2,500 chest. I used to say always go for profit orbs. It really doesn't seem like that great of a deal anymore if you can just get a chest that has all light and dark and non and, and the regular four faction heroes. Like I think they're eminent or glory hero chests. They're just really good nowadays. We do have the return of the Soul Awakening Gala. So this one has the original six heroes in it. This one should now have Mockman in it as well. I would, uh, uh maybe not. I don't know if it's going to have Mockman just yet because I don't think his copy has hit the Soul Temple. We'll have to see in game. It might still be the older three of them before. You got a glory chest at 70 points, but what's really important is getting up to 100 points. Now, typically, like a D minus hero, I believe, is worth five points when you do a soul awakening, which means on average you're going to need about 20 summons. So until you hit that nice, like, 2,000 and 2,500 contract starry gem mark you want to keep saving for events 
Uh, and then if you want to go further at 150k, you can get some essence sublimation or some spiritual lessons. Uh, I'd highly recommend going for essence sublimation because even on for me, like on my account, that's the hardest thing to actually acquire right now because a lot of times you have to pick between this chest and a core chest, and a lot of people are picking core at least until they can get a full team of three star artifacts to make a level eight artifact. So it's very interesting how that works, but. It is what it is, but not only is 150 a goal, we have another goal, which I'm going to talk about this in a video later today because I'm getting more information. The Soul Awakening Session. This one is going to be interesting. Um, so basically, you need to have 200 points in this one to even start being ranked. And the column you pick is like based on the top 10 idlers. Again, we'll break this one down in a separate video because I'm getting a little bit more information from the community development team. So that should help us understand the event a little bit better. There is the soul contract. And again, they do seem to be alternating before between the regular four factions that give you 400 and the light and dark factions that give you 300. And you need a six star hero, not a puppet. Puppets do, don't, do not count, but keep collecting these. Every account needs to keep collecting more contract starry gems so that they can participate in these types of events free to play. But this is very good. Make a six star in both light and dark. Cash them in. Profit. And possibly don't soul awaken immediately. <laughs> We do have a check-in relay, a luck relay package. So this is the one where you purchase them and you unlock different tiers. This one is interesting. You're not only getting dice for Imps Adventure, but you're getting, what, four, 800, 1,200 contract starry gems and 500 regular or original starry gems. Um, that seems pretty solid. So he here's what we're talking about here. Pack number one up here. This one is going to cost 5 USD. If you purchase that one, you get 400 contract starry gems for free. This pack is free. It's not too bad. You then jump down to a $2 pack. So it's the identical pack, but instead of $5, it costs $2. And then you purchase this one, which is $15. You then get the fifth pack completely free, which is free core. So 10 cores for $22. I think that's a pretty decent right that's interesting uh you continue on this pack right here it costs you another 10 which again gives you pack seven for free and then the last one is 20 dollars usd the bottom icon right here this this little guy this little times two that's going to be double imps adventure reward so if you are a spender out there that is most definitely going to help you um and then of course we have the regular value packages which should be working just as normal besides that there are some function updates of course Azrael will be in the profit tree uh and the super wishing fountain starting this week uh some outdated event items will now be able to be sold in the bag so check your bag for old event items you might be able to cash them in for gold and then they've optimized the description of Azrael's passive skill evil corpse uh is just the verbiage the actual skill itself has remained remain unchanged so definitely stay tuned for later today guys i'm going to talk more about the soul awakening session and the soul awakening gala when we have a little bit more information that way to give you guys a little bit of guidance so let me know what you guys think hopefully you guys enjoy this one i'll see you guys next time